how can I turn something that was broken and tattered and make it something that is now a mosaic of beauty? Because that's how I see my life. Chabernet Patton creates coastal home decor, spa-worthy bath products in her Boston studio. She created Anchored Inc. four years ago, a company born from her own life struggles. I was in a space of pain, of hurt, trying to survive on my own. Patton is a survivor. At the age of 12, she says she was sexually assaulted by a man close to her family, leaving her vulnerable to the darkness that followed. In my high school years, I got connected with some unsavory individuals. And what started out as what I thought were friendships turned into coerced sex trafficking. She would find her way out, become a preschool teacher, get married, have two children. But a decade later, unhealed wounds would be ripped open again. I will never forget this day in my whole life. December 31st, 2016, my ex-husband, in the middle of the night, attempted to kill me and himself. The police arrived that night. I had some scarring on my neck. He tried to strangle me with a belt. Lying in the hospital, though physically safe, she felt scared, alone. There were no resources available. No one brought me any clothing. The feeling that you were already feeling of not being wanted and being thrown away, it just reinforced it. Not long after, Patton would move to Boston looking for a fresh start. Sitting by the ocean for the first time in her life, she decided she needed to help women, women like herself. I saw a ship drop anchor. In that moment, I had this epiphany of, I'm anchored to this cause. I'm anchored to these women. I'm anchored to their healing. I'm anchored to their safety. Her products are made to soothe the soul. Ah. Uh. I just feel like I had a vacation. From calming scents of lavender to peaceful coastal artwork, everything from the upcycled furniture to the luxurious lotions are made by Patton, by hand. And a portion of every product sold goes to create gift baskets for women. So you'll have everything from clothing, feminine products, to jewelry and pillows and things that make you feel feminine again. What started as a gift basket gesture, a simple way to provide dignity in frightening moments, has become a home to help women find their way out for good. My husband and I got roughly about 40 acres of land in Texas. We are using that space to create the very first safe home development community for survivors. She hopes that it is a starting point, a moment, a bridge to freedom for others. You might be on your last leg, but you're still here. You're still moving. There's still purpose for you. Go find it. Do it. Anthony, and she mm -hmm. has found her purpose. She still has several partners she works with providing those comfort baskets to women in the aftermath of domestic abuse. And just last week, she received a Celtics grant which will help with completion of the Texas project. They mm -hmm. plan to break ground, in fact, pretty soon, which is awesome. Great, great job, great stories tonight. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone.